Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to Old Style Classics. Baseball cards, and other hobbies and other cards and all that. Thank you for joining me in Old Style Classics. Please subscribe, like, leave a message, share, notify, any of that stuff if you like. Um, trying to get to 100 subscribers. And since we're talking about that, today... May 19, 2024, so it's about 1.30 in the morning, California time. I got some shout outs to do, forgot about yesterday. So, uh, <clears throat> let's see, we'll go back two days ago. Martha Brito commented on my Shohei, Shohei, Shohei video. Uh, nice cards, personally, I don't think Ohani, Otani did anything wrong. I have more confidence. And Oriental born players than Latin or United States players who many except for Kershaw um, too much into crazy hip-hop music and tattoos and dressing funny or having crazy hair okay so, Martha doesn't believe Shohei's um, done anything. So, each their own opinion. Um, nothing been proven yet. So, for now, Martha's correct. Alright, TCB commented again. Love that Griffey card. Thanks for sharing and having a great, and have a great weekend. Thanks, TCB. Oh man, yeah, taking care of business just like the king likes. Uh, but I gotta go. Uh, I need to get me one of them fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. All right, Dodger Town 76 Fungo comedy, not bad at all. I think is what it meant. Yeah, cheers. Those were those two comments were both about those Walgreens cards. Yeah, we did pretty good actually. Um, what do we get? We got fireworks, uh, Colton Kowser, a couple J Rod rookie cards, and Stephen Kwan rookie card, and the Arias rookie card. And quite the finish to my Cubs game today. Great job, Cubbies. Um, man, what are our pitchers just on fire, people just on unhittable <clears throat> and um, walked it off bottom of the ninth uh, Bellinger was dead to rights but catcher dropped the ball <clears throat> the Cubs walked it off but Milwaukee just won't lose all right folks <clears throat> so we got that stuff out of the way I went to the local card shop today me and my wife went and got breakfast burritos this morning or this afternoon, I dropped her off at the mall, went to the card shop. They were going to be closed in like 15 minutes, so I just grabbed some stuff really quick so I could have some stuff to open. <clears throat> now the video, <coughs> excuse me, the video that I was talking about doing, um, I may just do tomorrow. Um, it's a little late. I don't want to go dig all that stuff out right now. And then I'll show you what we got at the card shop, and uh, we'll open some stuff after I take a drink here. All right, folks, thanks for holding on there. So while I was there, I picked up another one of these boxes of the Top Chrome, Tops Chrome UFC. It's got an Allen & Ginter insert set in here. I want to see if it gets one. Then I went ahead and picked up a hobby box. Of that Parkhurst because I did open that blaster that I got from Target. So I wanted to open some more of these because I really liked them. Not really into collecting hockey, but this one, pretty cheap. You can get an autograph memorabilia out of this old fashioned, old style classic kind of hockey cards there. Yeah, I just got some more like tobacco card inserts, a couple more of those tobacco mini one touches, 
Um, then I went to the bargain box and got this one. We got my girl Danica Patrick on the front there, so give it another shot. 2011 stuff. They might actually have minis. A couple more Allen and Ginter 2021s. And they had another Gypsy Queen, so um, probably save one Allen and Ginter for maybe tomorrow. And then we'll just open some of this stuff, folks. So let's see what we get. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. Have these sitting here. Um, haven't showed these in a little while. That's my little recruits T207. Tex Covington. Picked up a little, what, a month ago? Two months ago now. Then my. T202. So that's pretty sweet. Guy at the card shop was showing me um, some more T205s. Alright, so let's get to it, folks. What shall we do first? Let's do some UFC. I'm not going to do them all, just a couple packs. Hold on. Oh, and as I was saying yesterday, I wanted to be home by 6 o'clock tonight. Thank God we just made it. Like about 10 minutes to spare after um, I went to the card shop, stopped up at 7 Eleven, got some stuff. Then um, went to Baskin Robbins because she was still shopping. She didn't want any. So I went over there and got me a daiquiri ice. Have you ever had that stuff? Oh my god, it's so good. My favorite is chocolate peanut butter there, but it's too rich. I just can't handle it anymore. As I've gotten older, but the daiquiri ice is just perfect for a warm 80 degree day. And uh, so I got that, picked her up, and then we got home and made it just in time to do this eBay auction that I've been um, eyeballing. And waited right to the last minute, put in my bid. And boom, I won. But boy, did I. I'm going to have to pay up for this card. But um, it's worth it for me. Because it's a special card for my PC. And kind of what I'm doing with this last year set. So there's your clue. But it's going to have to go. It's going to have to go through authentication people from eBay. So that tells you kind of how long got my package from my brother for my mom's sale of her house um, sent me a nice note thanks Dave love you too and um, a bunch of old pictures some I've never even seen before of me like when I was two three four years old all right so here we go folks these chrome cards mostly looking for Alan and Ginters myself Jocelyn Edwards Megamede Akalov fired up Duster Dustin Poirier. He might be the buyback. So I'm going to have to set that aside and look that up. These might be the ones that you can get money back. Like the MVP buyback from Tops. Regular baseball. So this guy might be the guy that's the buyback. So and that's parallel. So that might be worth 30 bucks or something if that's who it is and there's a Sophia, Sophia Jessica Andrade star straw weight as they said on uh, the Lorax that's a woman I didn't realize that at first but she's from Brazil alright so just that image you couldn't tell right off the bat no offense to her don't really know what she really looks like but hopefully we'll get a really pretty card in that uh, NASCAR sure love to pick me up a Danica Patrick and to pull my first autograph of my own from her would be great hope we get at least one Alan and Ginter in this blaster Jared Cannon error, something. Dominic Reyes. 
Not a fan of the um, action shots. It's just kind of confusing. All right, Kathleen Sermonara. Get the ladies a moment in the limelight. All right, a refractor. Jelton Almeida. So refractor says it right there. All right, nothing that I can see. Just a second. Let's look at this box, see what it says. All right, thanks. Of course, there's no odds. So I don't even know if Alan Ginter is available on the blasters. But I didn't feel like buying another mega box or a hobby box. So let's see what we got here. Irene Aldana. I want to say Holly Holm fought her. Michael Peru. Yeah, so maybe that's him. So I don't know. It's one of these guys' name starts with P. So that could be the buyback. Guy who just won. So just have to look it up. That might be him, Brazil. So I kind of feel like they were talking about a guy from Brazil. All right, John Jones, there we go. I think he fights out of Albuquerque. Gotten a lot of multiple time run-ins with the law there in Albuquerque, like driving. But Albuquerque is pretty, um, yeah, they'll pull you over for all kinds of different things or, um, I don't want to jinx myself, but living in Albuquerque, it's like you get pulled over once every other year for whatever reason. I've been here for 12 years, and I've only been pulled over once, and that was the very first day I got here because the cop was wondering why I was pulling a U-Haul at 3 in the morning through a neighborhood, just wanted to see if I was, like, robbing people or something. So, kind of night and day, but that's a sweet card. Um, good fighter. All right, no Allen and Ginter in this first round, so we'll see if we get any more tomorrow. Got this card already, but that's the Sepia one. All right, so nothing there. All right, let's grab some of these Park Park Parkhurst champions. Just a moment. All right, folks, took that plastic wrapper off, so. We can see this together. I guess there's some tape here. Hmm, hold on a second. I think I could use that for something. Alright, thanks. Alright, no top loader. No our box loader. So let's see here. I'll just grab a random pack from each row here. One from there. One from here, one right there, and now they had two of these boxes at the local card shop, and I asked for the one that had the sticker on the you know the price tag on the front that they had displayed, and so they handed that to me. And this one was behind it and fell off the shelf like if it was calling my name saying hey no 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 pick me so I was like all right uh, you know like superstition knock on wood I was like um, yeah I'll take that box <laughs> it seems to be calling my name so let's see if that pays off but if I end up getting a relic box I'm gonna kick myself right all right so here we go Parkhurst old style classic hockey cards unfortunately they do have like modern style backs so let's see if we can get any focus in on this all right so hopefully you're watching on big tv you can pause that and see what what's in there I don't know if it says on the back of the box. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's 
That's probably even better. Get it to focus. There we go. So that's the kind of stuff we can get in one of these. That was long enough for you to pause that. So old style classics multi sports card day. Alright, horrible wrappers. Alright, this um, we're looking for the minis. There are kind of many tobacco cards are in here. I don't think Connor Bedard is in this set. William Carlson. All right, Zach Hayes, rookie card, two Vegas Golden Knights in a row. There's your back. So for the rookie. So I'm not going to be too familiar with who's good and who's not on these um, hockey cards. Because my Blackhawks stinks, so I haven't been watching as much in the last couple years. Ryan Strom on the silver. Parallel. Alright. we got another rookie, Simon Holmstrom. So very old style card on the front. I'll, uh, Goodwin Champions and or um, <coughs> Gypsy Queen but modern backs so I don't like the backs they don't fit with the fronts alright this card feels thicker Ryan O'Reilly but I guess it's not Igor Igor she's Druskin. Why does it feel so thick to me? Jamie Bin. Uh, it'd be nice to get like um, Patrick Kane. Alright, so. No hit in that one. up a little easier that's nice looking for minis and hits of course folks all right got an extra something in this one so let's see save those for the last Ozzy Kaptar Kevin Fiala still no Blackhawks Carter Vin Verhage Kael Sergarev or something. Sorry if I'm misspeaking. Alright, Samuel Fagimo. Rookie. Veteran. Alex I follow. Alright, then the silver. Ryan Danto. Donato. Seattle Kraken. Potential have the potential to have some of the best logos. There goes the air conditioner. Seattle has the some of the potential of having some of the coolest logos, but yet um, not a fan of that. So hopefully they'll bring out some kind of monster. All right, and then some kind of chrome. So. Some kind of uh, yeah refractor there, as opposed to the regular silvers. So that is not numbered, of course. Thank you, Upper Deck. All right, two more packs. Why, people? I feel like opening stuff and doing a video. And uh, hope you guys enjoy these old style classics random sports cards. All right, make up one of the cards I want in this one, maybe. Hage, Pagu. All right, Anders Lee. 
There you go, Buffalo people. Jeff Skinner. Maybe he's the son of uh, the X Files, Skinner. Drew Doughty. <coughs> Carl. Yeah. All right, our rookie is Nick Blankenberg. Columbus, I believe. Blue Jackets. Yep. So, rookie. All right, there's a guy we know around here. Brent Burns. I don't know if he's still around or not. San Jose Sharks pretty bad, just like my Blackhawks, so they're totally in rebuild mode, but they got the number one pick this time around, right? And I think Blackhawks got number two. Oh, we got a die cut. So tomorrow's riches. Vasily Kolsin. That's interesting. Uh, I can take or leave. Um, die cuts. Just worried they get damaged easy. There's more nooks and crannies to go wrong. But that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's worth anything as far as, well, yeah, if it's a good one to protect or not. But well, let's just go ahead and do it just to be safe. All right. That's sitting around. One more, folks. One more of this. And, um, so they're cool cards. They're definitely cool old style cards. They're glossy. So they're not like papery, old fashioned, but they do have that old style look to it that I like. All right. Another San Jose Shark. Alexander Barbanov. Give him a moment in limelight in honor of the fact that I live right next to San Jose and work there. All right. A veteran, Kale Marker, Makar. Still haven't seen a black hawk yet, Mackenzie Blackwood. Alex Tooch, Touch. Evgeny Malkin. All right, a rookie. Mods Sogard. Goalkeeper. Goaltender. All right, then our veteran, our silver, John Tavares. And our last card of this is. Some kind of insert. Artem Artimi Panarin. Looks like the Rangers, maybe. So that's interesting. These are really beautiful cards, people. All right. New York Rangers, not numbered. Wire image. So, whatever that is. So, I don't know how rare that is. We could all look at the um, odds that we just saw, or I don't know if their odds are just how much you can get, but let's go ahead and put it in this little painting sleeve I have sitting here. Okay, so that's it for the <coughs> hockey cards. So. Alright, we got this chrome. Silver, 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 silver. Handful of rookies, and we did not get a mini in any of those. So that's less than ideal. All right, let's go Gypsy Queen, Alan and Ginter, and Element. But we're going to do the, uh, we'll do the Alan and Ginter last, probably, because you know me, I like minis. <clears throat> so I want to at least end off getting a mini. Yeah, I want to do that other video for you guys, but <clears throat> it's definitely a subject that's going to take multiple videos, and uh, I don't know if I want to do it just one this day, and then a couple weeks later, or just boom, boom, boom. I kind of want to do a boom, boom, boom. All right, Paul Goldschmidt. There you go. 
perhaps future Hall of Famer. Just watching some videos today, and they were talking about he's in the top 15 of modern rookie cards from since 2000. Corey Spang Spangenberg. All right. Maquille Franco. Love Gypsy Queen. Oh, yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a Gypsy Queen and put it next to one of these. So that's what I meant. It's a little Gypsy Queen ish. Just that color scheme, but maybe a little more Goodwin Champion ish. But you see what I'm kind of driving at, right? That's where the difference is. I don't know why Upper Deck's got to do that. Anyways, Josh Rogers. Pitcher. And Rowdy Telez. So. And the unfortunate thing that um, <clears throat> Gypsy Queen did away with tobacco minis and replaced it with these kind of minis. Which I'm not a huge fan of. But they're, you know, I mean, they're not bad. I'd just rather have a tobacco mini, to be honest with you, because these are also hard to store. Um, just kind of awkward. But I, I don't hate them. I like them. Don't get me wrong, but not at the cost of tobacco mini is my point. And there's our boy Chris Bryant from the Cubbies back then. That's pretty sweet. These are 2019 Gypsy Queen. The fortune teller I like them um, I like the foil chrome ones that they do so that's pretty good that's cool everyone loves Chris Bryant but definitely fallen off since leaving uh, he's just played in Albuquerque this last week on a rehab assignment so wish I was there to get to see him in an Albuquerque isotopes uniform but that's pretty cool so Chris Bryant, we did get a sort of a mini. All right, what what next, folks? I'm gonna do Alan Ginter first. Want to save that chance of getting the Danica patch for last? Because she's my other PC. Now I will tell you this: the card that I won today on eBay is not of her. Definitely a baseball card, a big one, a big one, people. And uh, I just had to have it. You know how it is, right? All right, people, so these are 2021s. There's a Brickley, so there's an odd weirdo. Let's call them weirdos, as uh, Jab's family would probably call them. Basketball trainer, Chris Brickley. Read about him there. Stevenson, there you go, rookie card, Stevenson for the Reds there. Oh, and um, about a week or two ago, I had picked up three packs like this of Allen and Ginter, and I remember opening two, and I was like, oh, I don't know what happened to the other pack, I must have opened it, and then it did turn up later, because their um, parents were here, so stuff got moved around. I did find that other pack, I opened it, I got nothing um, you know, that I'm like, oh, I wish I had videotaped that, except I did get a short print mini of, uh, green beans, <laughs> like, a food that's good for you, or something like that answer, which was one of those short, short prints, so I did get one of those, so that's pretty cool, so I'll have to show you guys that at some point in time, but otherwise, I think maybe I got Miggy and, uh, just some base players. John Crook. And go Crucky. Give old Crook some time in the limelight since he's long retired, and that is a short print. So there's his stats. Alright. Needert, another rookie. Poor Miami Marlins. That's a pretty cool jersey there. So a rookie card three years ago. 
So, I'm not sure if he's still around. And Birds of a Feather. So, the blue and gold macaw. We've got ourselves a... Oh, these would go good with my talented cards. Insert. Alright, we'll hold on to that mini. And now let's move on to this. So, let's see if we can get a Danica. Come on, Danica. Alright, here's what you can get. These are Press Pass. Press Pass makes some pretty nice cards. But I believe these ones are more... Kind of like the Gypsy Queen or the Goodwin Champions. They're very, I think they're very old school. Not shiny, more cardboard. So there you go. Box topper bonus pack. So is this hobby? Hmm, maybe this is a hobby pack. Oh yeah, right there. So good. Maybe we've got a good chance of picking something up. Press pass pretty good at uh Giving you hits and autographs a little better than Panini. Alright, try to protect this pack as much as I can. I don't want to hang on to that because it's got Medanica on there. We'll set that aside. Yeah, these are kind of old school. They're, they're kind of like a heritage. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Alright, Matt Kenseth. So they're old school, but... Um, now semi-glossy, kind of like um, one of Topps All-Star cards or something that you would get in um, like a rack pack. They do have the old school back, a very uh, plain old cardboard, so I like that. Alright, then we got this Elements Dream Team. So Michael Waltrip, Martin Trudeau Jr., which I got his autograph, and David Rootman. So I like these backs. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're very um, Gypsy Queen-ish too. Or uh, Goodwin Champions. Maybe that's a better one to compare it to. All right, Kyle Busch. Alright, not a big fan of just the car, car cards, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm not really a collector of NASCAR. Alright, one last two cards. There's one of them going to be Danica. I'm not looking. Austin Dillon, truck racing back then. Alright, and the last card... Reagan Smith. So, no Danica. It's the only Danica we got today, folks. Is on the wrapper. All right, so we really got nothing, nothing much other than those. Uh, maybe the you know die cut and whatnot. All right, our mini is. Hey, a black border, uh, Moises Alou. One of my least favorite Cubs of all time because of what he did to Bartman. But still a superstar player, solid career. Uh, Moises Alou on the black border. And it's a short print, so those are like short, short prints. Alright, so there we go. Um, you know, other than stuff I don't know about. I would say these are the big ones that we got, John, John Jones. So, all right, folks, so there you go. Hockey, UFC. Uh, let's see, I guess I need a racing card. Chris Bryant. A couple of Cubs on the short, or the inserts there. All right, let me... Uh, Pull this one out just because it's the shiniest. All right, there you have it, folks. Another episode of Old Style Classics, New Style, Multi Sport Cards today. Uh, I'll see you later today. 
I'll do another episode, some more of these cards, and or the other one that I'm talking about. Hey, man, take care. Thanks, everyone, for commenting and subscribing and all that stuff. Thank you. Bye.